Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with a mini game jam final. The mini game jam final was a small game jam in Glasgow Caledonia University, um, which allowed primary school children to from 14 different schools to make games using Scratch in teams of four. The theme is spinning. I'm playing all of the games that were entered in this jam for about a minute each. Links to the individual games in the description so you check them out. And all my info also in the description so you can check me out. This video is brought to you in part by the lovely people on Patreon who support me every month so that I can continue to make content. If you want to support me on Patreon, that's also in the info. I think that it's really awesome that primary school children were given this opportunity to make games for a game jam. And I'm sure that all of the games are going to be wonderful. And as they develop their skills in coding and in using Scratch and other engines, um, we'll hopefully see more from them. And I'm really excited to play these games. All right, next. First, we're playing Fidget Ninjas. All right. Ah, this is a two-player game. Okay, I don't know what the controls are because they're not listed. So we're going to play around with things. Ooh. Ah, so you can kind of dodge. How do we do it? So for red, it's A and D to move, W to go up, and then S to throw a fidget spinner. For blue, down doesn't throw a fidget spinner. For me, anyway. I feel like red's got a bit of an advantage here. Do we throw a fidget spinner in the air? Yeah. It's kind of cool that when you throw a fidget spinner in the air, it does co sort of come down at an angle. I do very much like the melancholy look on these ninjas' faces. Red ninja wins. And the background's really nice. We're playing Apostrophe. There's no title other than that. So, yes. Okay, so now we're at school. I'm not sure what the controls are though. And they just sort of restarted it, I think. Scratch rocks. These graphics, again, are really nice. Hmm. I'm just not sure what to do. If I push up or space, it toggles between these two rooms, but it also, if you look up here, I don't know much about Scratch, it also switches between those, and if you hit the flag, it restarts. So I don't really know what the stop sign does. But these graphics are exceptionally well done. The bushes, you can tell what everything is, and it's all very clean and nice looking. My score is zero. Clicking doesn't seem to help. Hmm. Next. We're playing Fidget Jumper. Ah, oh, I've already died. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm dying just instantly. Yeah, because I am restarting the game and then getting caught. So I'm trying to figure out the controls. So these fidget spinners seem to go in a specific pattern. Now I'm in the middle. Why'd I go up? Hmm. Weird. I'm not sure what causes the ball to go up, because sometimes it's like space or enter. Ah, uh, you have to sort of be fast. And miss the fidget spinners. Hmm. So I guess the idea is I'd stay up when the blue one w isn't hitting me, and then go down when it's clear so I could stay for the green one to rotate and just keep dodging for a set amount of time. Hmm. Pretty cool idea. I like the starriness, the star look on these fidget spinners. And I like the background as well. Next. We're playing spinner dash. Ooh, I'm this guy. Okay. I'm supposed to be dodging all of these things. I think I get points for hitting the fidget spinners. Not the dice. 
My target is 55 points. Game over. Thank you, guy. I appreciate you telling me. So, if we play it, we can make the target 100 points. And basically, you just want this caterpillar creature to stay on top of the fidget spinners for as long as possible. I made the goal. Alright, oh. I like this butterfly creature. He's super cool looking. Ah, oh, it's a fidget cube. I was like, oh, the dice has a weird side on some of them, but it's a fidget cube versus fidget spinners. So clearly fidget spinners are better. <laughs> Next. We're playing fidget dash. Alright, yeah, fidget dash. I don't know how to play though. Hmm. Maybe I can't play currently? The dragon's pretty cool, and the colors used for the background are interesting. It looks like the fidget spinners would be racing to this end line away from the dragons or something. But literally no button will do anything. So maybe they only got like one screen done. Probably spent a lot of time cutting out that picture of a fidget spinner. Because it looks like uh, an image that they tried to get cut out perfectly, which takes ages. Hmm. It's a shame that I don't know how to play it though. Next. We're playing spinning around. So I think we want to spin it to, oh wait, listen up. Start with four, ooh. How old was the queen when she rose to fame? Uh, rose to fame, 25, 23, 21. 21? Uh-oh, five times nine, 45, yeah. No. Five, 10, no, 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 seven times nine is 45. 45, which one's 45, crap. Yeah, I think it was one. Or I? Uh oh. I didn't pay attention to the. Uh, I'm not doing well. Listen, you start with four lives. I want you to finish with four lives every time you answer wrong. These are life understood. Alright. How do I go to the next bit? Okay, so seven's a question. Five times nine is 45, which is A. Okay. A. A. Good job. Yay! What is the book most used in primary schools? Not Twilight. Jin, I've never heard of that. The Silver Sword. Uh, the Silver Sword? Nope. <laughs> next question. Oh, I ended up rest uh, restarting it instead of doing the next question. It's really interesting that these different colors have different questions on them. I think well, that's a really well, um, well made game. Uh, the use of the theme spinner is quite different, and I enjoy it. And I enjoy trivia questions. And I get seven a lot. <laughs> Next. We're playing the fidget spinner hunt. Hi, I'm Jamie. I lost my fidget spinner. Can you help me find it? Sure. Oh, it looks like you are a fidget spinner. <laughs> Where am I? Uh, hello and welcome to Oz. I am Tara, short for terror. I hear that you lost your fidget spinner. I was the one who stole your fidget spinner. <laughs> what? You stole it? Yes, you deaf munchkin. That's kind of rude. Munchkin? I'm much taller than you. By the way, can I get my fidget spinner back? Only on one condition. You must answer my five math questions. Why can't you just give me my fidget spinner now? Because you're very dumb. <laughs> no, you dumb idiot. Here are the questions. <laughs> nine times nine. 81, right? Correct. You may answer my next question. What's 12 times 11? Um, 143. I don't actually know. That's not right. That's 12 times 12 is 144. 132. Uh, this is just the case. What's 56 divided by 8? I am not good at mental math. It's been a while since I've had to do these things. I like how she's now teasing me with the fidget spinner. I like the colorful background. Next. We're playing the Fantastic Four. Um, this character. Oh, I don't want to touch the witch. That's bad. Okay, do I want to touch the ball? 
Yes. I get points for, like, getting to the soccer ball, I think. And it's just collecting however many points you can. Ooh, the background changed. Okay, go this way. No, it doesn't loop. Now in the desert. That's cool. So there's a bit of progression here if you get different points. You won! Thank you. That witch is just spinning away. It's no match for me. I wonder how many points I can just get. So a short game, but it was really nice. How to win and, I guess, a lose as well condition. And it flipped through some different level screens. Next. We're playing Speedy Spinner. Alright, so this is a two player game, I guess. So this is up and down is one. And left and right is player two. What? That controls the same spinner though. Ah, uh, I get it, I get it. Sorry, sorry. So the fidget spinner is controlled by one person and the bat, which I'm just gonna, is GHF. Okay. GHF SD. That's, the bat's controls are a bit hard. Do they fight? Me trying to spin the bat. It's a fidget spinner. It spins. Space also controls the fidget spinner. Hmm. I think the control schemes in this is very interesting. I'm not sure what our goal is though. Meh. Fighting. We go say hi to this guy. I don't. Let's do I. Right? Is it I? Is it L? Yeah, it's L. Bam. Bam. I've replaced the bat. And now it looks like he's spitting me in some sort of fidget spinner trick. Bam. Next. We're playing Fantastic F. Which looks like the start of a breakout game. Oh no. Oh, game over. <laughs> the end screen of music was not something I was ex expecting. So we're kind of keeping up this bat symbol and making sure it doesn't fall for as long as possible. And if it falls, Joker wins. That's really cool. If they had some uh, little things for us to hit. Oh, why game over? Oh, okay, last 20 seconds. Congratulations, I won. If they had some things to hit for us to collect, that'd keep things going longer. But yeah. It's the first one that has, like, some sound in it. It's pretty cool. Next. We're playing Fidget Chase TM2. Oh, it's another two-player game. It's very interesting, the uh, number of multiplayer games that were entered in this gem. Basically, the hammer, I think, and the fidget, the hammer can go through walls. I thought the hammer was sort of meant to destroy the fidget spinner. Maybe not. Hmm. Okay, so the spinner is supposed to collect all points, which I'm guessing are these dots. I don't really know how to collect them. And the hammer is meant to destroy the fidget spinner but avoid lightning which i'm guessing is the point and then ideally they'd run around this maze and not be able to like go through walls and sort of try to chase after each other and stop each other from getting all of the points which is a pretty solid game idea i'm not quite sure how to collect the points or do anything like that but it's definitely a good start they've got the layout done i've got the characters moving we're playing Progress of the Empire. This game contains flashing images, so if you can't do like intense flashing, then click the next time in the description. It's just a bit intense for me, even. This one, yeah. All right, player two, what is uh, nine? Did I get it? What's the next question? Oh, I didn't answer that. Nine. I don't... Yeah, it's nine. I d but I already... But... 
Hmm. I'm just not sure what I need to press to submit my answer because it seems like pressing enter isn't the correct key in the midst of all this flashing. Okay, it's it's nine. Nope, it's it's nine. Hmm. Again, I like the idea of sort of answering questions and taking this more educational route. The soccer balls and the different colors are very nice. And it's another two-player game, which is pretty cool. I have to outsmart the other player. Next. We're playing spin in, spin out. Oh, press flag to restart. Okay. So I am this fidget spinner, and I must collect tornadoes, but avoid this not-so-friendly-looking shark. There's a lot of them now. Ah. All right. I'll try again. Point six. All right. Get this one. That guy kind of gets stuck over there, so that's fine. See, that shark gets bigger when it bites. Which is scary. I think both of them do, but that one gets really big. Ah. 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 <laughs> I like how the sharks are also in the hospital. That's kind of funny. This is the last game entered in this gem. So, yeah. It was pretty interesting seeing what these students came up with in such a short amount of time with the theme fidget, like the fidget spinners. And I'm very excited to see what they come up with in the future as they continue to make games, whether it be for jams or for bigger projects. I wish that I could have taken part in a game jam when I was at school. All right, well, that's it. Bye.